discuss and possibly and possibly take action to remove the student uniform policy requirement. Okay. okay. So let me let me let me before you uh, make and take any action and then you can discuss it if you like. Uh, we are noticing that more and more students, more parents are waving their children out of the uniform policies. Uh, I have um, I have a 42 percent uh, waiver request on file, but I know it's more than that because a lot of the students, even though they don't have a waiver, they're not wearing the uniform. It's it, I mean, maybe at one time at Hebrew school that was it was a need, and you have to you have to have 85 percent of the students approving of the parents approving it. We're at 42 percent um, of the students that are now that are legitimately uh, out of the uniform policy because their parents and they have a right to do that by the way you can't force them to wear it but i can guarantee you we have more than 42 percent many of the students just don't wear it and it's hard to keep track of them so i don't know what the, the, the reason why i bring this up is because we have a letter that we're going to be sending to the parents about the new bell schedule and then if the board decides to act on this we would put in that notice to the parents and thanks to the HP we're either going to help us send that information to them or to the community uh, then we would uh, we would alert the parents that you know they, they're not required can they use them of course they can use them but are they required that would be an, uh, that would that would require board action yeah we have we have talked about this before you guys came on board several times but we had uh, Matter of fact, several meetings where people, it would just got out of control. You know, someone would have their name, or someone would have something here, and I don't like that, and I don't like this, and you know. And I guess it's to each individual. But right now, it's put to vote. If you want to do away with it, you do away with it. If the majority says yes, or no, make them vote. But then, uh, at, at sometimes, yeah, they look nice. When you see people that go to Catholic schools and they're all wearing the same uniform, but then everyone is wearing it. It's not like you can wear Levi's today. No, it's You know, and we don't have something. They have to do it. Is that a paperwork hassle? It's, it's, it, it can be a paperwork hassle, but it's more of a hassle to monitor who is on a waiver and who's not. Because we have so many that are legitimate on a waiver, but I'm telling you, we have. I can tell you we have more than 42 percent of the other kids that are not wearing the uniform, and especially in the upper grades, they're not wearing. It. I mean, because I think the uniform, in a way, also helps those uh, families that are, you know, uh, lower income. You know, right. still, so we can make the option. Well, well, no, they can still. I'm, I'm sure that they can still, still wear, wear those. Yeah. If that's what they want to wear, you know. Yeah. And make it an optional. Either one, either remove it or make it optional. But what I'm saying is that if you don't make it a uh, the uh, a requirement then you know those kids could be looked at by others as saying you know you don't have to wear that anymore and you're wearing them because you don't have any money whereas if you have it as a requirement then those kids will continue to wear it you know because you know they, they don't want to sign the waiver but I don't know I'm just looking at you know I'm, at those kids I'm not looking at those the kids that don't want to wear it because the families you know they they want to buy them brand stuff or whatever you know but, those other kids are the ones I'm thinking about, you know. Mm -hmm. If you don't make it mandatory, then they're going to say, well, the other kids might, you know. Well, it's, it's the pleasure of the board. Right? Yeah. We can go in. Well, sometimes sometimes the uniform actually costs what? the same as much as the regular clothes. Well, can I ask what, what is the uh, problem with the current policy right now? <coughs> well, Mr. Uh, there's nothing so wrong. It's saying there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong. It's just that there is too many people too many kids being out of uniform and as a parent you have the right to have a wake and, and uh, I guess the more it is you know the more like you said it's not it's a paperwork and it's keeping track of who has a waiver and who doesn't you can't enforce it and if, if we were to say no it's uniform if we want to force it then we have to buy the uniform for the kids if you want to force something you have to buy it and we don't want to do it so can we just leave it optional? Yeah, but I, I, I totally agree with Mr. Huerta. I was mm -hmm. one of those very poor children in a school that really got looked down on for not bringing the right clothes. And as a teacher, um, just having that discrimination between the students, I, I don't think it's acceptable. I, I, I agree that 42% is, is a high number of students that are not 
that, that have that waiver in place. Mm -hmm. But maybe the school making it more cool to have a uniform or somehow promoting it um, perhaps would, would be more beneficial than doing away with it totally. Yeah, well, 42 is what they have as the people that actually as a waiver, the form. Yeah. But if you really, I mean, I've been out here with my kids. Over and, half. I mean, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's above 80 percent. But but even the even the students who um, who actually have the waiver, some days they will wear yeah. a uniform. The, even even though they have because their parents. I mean, as a parent, I can tell you that it's a lot cheaper to buy the uniforms than it is so to buy the you know the trendiest clothes for. So. Um, you know, this is one of those items, again, that the community should really look into and parents should have some input into, you know, I, I, I would say if, if I was voting as a parent in the school site council, I would not do away with a, with a policy right. at this time. You kind of already know because you have 42% of the so they're kind of telling you already that they're not supporting it. I mean, I, it doesn't matter to me. I can go either way. I just want to know. I want to bring it up to your attention because it's, and, and as Mr. Talada says, it's more than 42%. It's between 60 and 70%, and I'm being conservative. But if it's what, whatever the pressure of the board is, it's, there's the dress code will remain what, what it is, regardless it's of what It's been some time that I have bought uniforms for at least not for me, but my wife. For the kids, I don't know if buying a uniform is more expensive than regular clothes. No, they last a lot longer, like the Dickies pants that have the patches. I have a boy, and I mean, he could, he, if he yeah, wore yeah. regular clothes, yeah. it would. Yeah, it's about the same price. Sometimes it's it can be more expensive depending on where. Dicky pants are, you know. They, but they last a long time. They'll rip those too, and then you'll have to buy again. <laughs> so right. again, like wow. I said, it's up to the board. Okay, okay so I put up the vote and whatever. I'll make the motion. You make the motion to remove the student uniform policy. Yes. So or is the uniform. Okay, is there a second? I don't hear a second. So they remain. Motion. Okay. Yay. Yay. Okay, item number mm -hmm. seven. 